All right, so uh, in the last video, you saw me install this uh, TKM Auto uh, aluminum rack system. Uh, love it a lot. If you want to see how that all comes together and what I had to do to get that on there, uh, go back and watch the last video. And uh, today, uh, this video, we're going to actually focus on putting the uh, Rough Country hard shell tent up on the rack and uh, and then we'll open it up check it out and give you a tour of the whole thing and hopefully it goes well so stay tuned let's get at it in just a minute All right, check it out. That's it. That's the whole thing. Looks really nice. And uh, wow, it's actually a lot heavier duty plastic than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, pretty rugged. There's an area back there, I guess that you could do storage, although I don't see any kind of hooks or anything on it, but um, lightweight, uh, extra carry on stuff there. So, uh, excited to get this thing on there so let's keep going All right, so as you saw, um, very, very simple. Um, you just put these in the right way. I'm not sure why there's a couple extras, but you can see they they um, uh, have a certain direction. So you put your bolt in that way so that the head locks in here so that it won't twist on you while you're screwing the nut in. And then this groove, there's a top groove in the, you slide it in and that was, um, oops, excuse me, you slide it in from the end and uh, make sure you get it in that, that top groove because it can drop down. That's, I had to take one of these off and put it back on because I had slid it in um, below the, the top groove and it was just floating around too much. So um, that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. And then we're gonna we need to get somebody to help me lift this thing up. And we're gonna get it up on the, uh, it's a bit of a lift because the truck's up a little bit high. Um, another reason I didn't want to put the, the rack up so but so high so it's at 24 inches now that and the aerodynamics i'm hoping that this will sit nicely up there but we'll see and hopefully i measured the length uh before i put those racks up because this thing only goes just but so far to the end so i'm going to measure it one more time before we try to lift it up there make sure it's going to fit All right, wow, that was uh, super simple to install. Uh, as long as you have another uh, able body person to help you lift the thing up there, it's got a bit of weight to it and it's awkward weight, but installing it once it's up there is super easy. I mean, really just getting these bolts in place, tightening the nuts on. Uh, the biggest thing is to measure this way, front and back and side to side to try to get a dead center so your weight um, is nice and even. So. Now we got time to open it up and play a little bit and see what it's like inside. Check out the, the part you probably really care more about than installing it. So, uh, very, very easy though. Looks good too. All right, so all we need to do, uh, and, and let me tell you, one of the reasons I bought this style uh, hard shell tent like this, and this particular one, is because 
so many are so difficult to set up. A lot of tents, period, can take you, you know, 20, 30 minutes um, or longer if you really don't know what you're doing. This is a matter of minutes, so we're going to try to do it in real time here and see what it really looks like. Uh, all I'm doing is unhooking these two straps, pushing up on this one side, and let the the uh, uh, hydraulic lifts lift it up. And then we're going to fold out with the ladders all built in. I don't even have to go find the ladder or bury it somewhere or pull it out from underneath. It's it's built right on. So let's do it. Um, should be super fast, hopefully. And this is the first time I've ever done it, other than a few seconds ago when I was trying to get the, the parts out of it. I um, have never done this before. So this rail is nice, too, to grab hold of and get up here. And let's see. Whoa. I don't know if you could see that. I don't know if I had the camera in the right place for that, but uh, pretty cool. Now we're just gonna grab the ladder and pull it back a little bit and jump down. Oop. I think we're supposed to adjust the top ones. There we go. Cause this thing has to take the ladder, take the weight of this overhang here. So we got that now. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. So uh, I'm six foot, oh wow, I'm not even anywhere near the head. There is a metal thing here though, so. Um, but I'm six foot and I've got, I don't know, six or eight inches, at least six inches from my head and my feet are touching the net a little bit, but they're still a couple inches in from the end. And of course I can always sleep crosswise, but it's pretty good. Good, I like it. Um, I don't have it fully tightened up yet, but let's um, unzipper the windows. Get a little cross breeze through here. Let's see. All right, we've got. Uh, Got a rooftop tent set up. A nice hard shell. Fold up, fold down. And we've got a great rack that we installed today. Very happy with this rack and this tent. It's very cool. A um, couple of things that took me a little bit to figure out um, was these holes. How to get the, they were kind of hidden down here on the sides. They have a different style. There's a little plate that you put them into. So you put the, the end of the rods into the plate. That was pretty easy to figure out, but this one took a little bit more doing. Um, I kept looking down inside this thing. I thought the, the rod is supposed to go through here, but it, it doesn't because there's a seal here. So you just have to lift it up, do it on the outside. But I like the ladder. Feels good. Of course, that um, I didn't know if I could fold the lat pull the ladder up at nighttime, keep any critters from coming up, but. Uh, it actually gives you the support to hold a lot of the weight from here. So, but it feels very sturdy with the ladder down for sure. And everything is looking good. Uh, it's really a nice little setup. You get your rain cover and it's all waterproof anyway. So that's it.
So I'll just have to uh, record a little bit more folding it all back up, but I want to try it out and play in a little bit. I think you saw inside already. And oh, by the way, the instructions, very good. Really nice job with this. Whoop, really nice job with the instructions. Um, so it gives you every everything step by step. And uh, of course, there's a PDF you can download online too if you forget or don't have this with you, but it shows you every little, you know, the picture and the steps that you're doing. So uh, makes it really easy, but uh, honestly, if you just see somebody do this once, you really don't need instructions. It's, it goes together really well, and um, it feels pretty spacious up in here. I think we're gonna be good. I think this will work well. I, I don't know how. So this mattress that comes with it is a little bit, you know, it's thin, meant to be able to tuck up in here well, but I'll have uh, an extra sleeping bag underneath me probably, and uh, so we can stay nice and warm. We'll see, I've got some days, are gonna be, nights are gonna be down to 28 degrees when I'm staying up there. So we'll hopefully, um, hopefully be bundled up warm. I've got a couple other tricks to help me out, keep me warm. So uh, I think that's it. Now uh, I'll just uh, record folding it back down, taking it back apart and, uh, and uh, wrap up the video, so. It's uh, sun's coming down a little bit, but I'm gonna just check out a few more things. And anyway. That's that. We've got it uh, <coughs> installed. Looks pretty good. We've got that hard shell rooftop or rack top tent. Ready to roll. Turned out real well. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, two in a row of putting this thing together, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you a, a like seeing how the tent looks and works, and uh, pretty spacious inside. I'm looking forward to using it. So, um, next w next few videos, uh, next one or two videos, you'll see me using it. <laughs> so we'll see what it's really like at uh, you know at night, and uh, I, I, you know, temperatures going to get real low. So we'll see how I do camping in the cold. But uh, it's all to get this uh, work really rolling up at uh, Bear Ridge. So uh, more to come on that. Uh, it's, I'm really excited about that. Looking forward to that. It's going to be very cool. And being able to, to stay there long days and overnight, a couple nights, two or three nights next week um, to keep working up there is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching TWC Projects. Um, where we love to create things, fix things, and enjoy God's creation all around us. And uh, thank you for subscribing and for liking and hitting the bell and sharing with others. And uh, that's it. I I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little tired, but excited. So um, until next time, have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. And I'll see you on the next project.